Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. He called the young man and the old man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody got a role to play. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us all be encouraged and be uplifted in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us all be uplifted and encouraged in Jesus' name. One thing about it, bless your name, Jesus. The call of honor, man. Thank you, Jesus. Could not understand the spiritual things of God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. A lot of people that's calling the mind that's reading this Bible, and they're not getting the understanding and the interpretation that God wants them to have because their mind is calm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So you got to take on a spiritual mind that you may be able to comprehend and understand what God has for you down here in his life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says the spiritual thing of foolishness unto him. For he can't know them. Thank you, for their spiritual recognized. And spiritually understood. Amen, Thank right. you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank you, yeah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, God ain't called us to be a carnal minded people. He wants to be a spiritually minded yeah. people. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said, I fed you with milk and not with meat. Yeah. But hitherto you were not able to bear it. Yeah. out, for whether it's envy and strife or divisions yeah. among you, you are carnal. Yeah. And you walk as men. Yeah. So when you get all that carnality out of your heart and out of your mind, ain't going to be no envy there no more. Ain't going to be no strife there no more. Ain't going to be no discord or sin there no more. Thank you, Lord. You want to take on the mind of Christ and you want to learn how to love your name as yourself and love your enemy as yourself. Come on out. When you take on the mind of Christ, when you get all that karma stuff out your mind, and you take on the mind that you're ready to serve God and walk in the newness of life as a spiritual creature and not a part of mind and being. Thank you, Lord. You're going to take on the understanding that love is of God and that G-O-D is L-O-V-E and it ain't no wrong wrong. No matter how you dress, no matter how you put your hair up, it took your shirt in. Come on, man. G-O-D is L-O-V-E and the fruit of the Spirit is love. And joy, and peace, and meekness, and long suffering, and gentleness, and everything else good you can name. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's a lot of people talking about it. Come on, tell me. It's a whole lot of people talking about it, unity, and coming together. But how many are going to walk the walk and really make it happen? Thank you, Jesus. That's why I see these brothers came out this morning. Thank you, that's a number of talks. It's time to show you who we really rock. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. To be some example. Thank you, Jesus, to the flock. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Because the Bible said that Christ is not divided. Come on now. Come on out. And if Satan's kingdom be divided, his kingdom ain't going to stand. Come on out. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're worthy. Glory to God. The Bible said there's one Lord, one faith, which is one church, one body. Thank you, Lord. And one baptism. And all that got to do with Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong power, and the righteous running into it, and they are saved. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says that Paul said, but this cause I bow my knee to the God and Father, my Lord, said, but Jesus Christ, in whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. I'm looking at the Jesus name family right now. The Jesus name family. Thank you, Lord. Baptized in his name. Called by his name to go out and preach salvation that is in his name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get out of the way of that brother Rod coming up here. Thank you, Jesus. And get some of this bread out this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Bible said that the corn to make the young man cheerful and new wine to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So y'all rejoice. Y'all feel y'all living in here. Amen. Thank you for the blessing that the people that come together like this here. Amen. Show love to one another. Yes. Show the world yes. that everybody ain't going along with the fuss yes. and the fight. Amen. And a lot of that stuff that us being men of God, we had to put that behind us. Amen. And step up to the plate to be real men. Yes. Do what God calls us to do. Yes. All right now. There you go, brother Rob. Out the way. Man, thank, thank you, Lord. Doing good. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, 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 Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have, your Have your way, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Have your way. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give the Lord a hand clap, please. Thank you, Jesus. I, uh, I, came, up, I came up outside. Seen you know what I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> that look like. <laughs> I tell him, count it off a little bit. Then I look. I said, that is brother Bobby. <laughs> Let's get a Lord a hand clap. Hey. Bobby is my neighbor. Been a neighbor for 22 years. Yeah. I don't meddle in his bed, and he don't meddle in mine. Amen. Yeah, They're supposed to be. Let's get a Lord another. Hey. Hand. Hey. You know, because I, I'm. I'm I guess, you know, like I, I've been up here a couple of times preaching, you know, and kind of got excited, you know, and because of what God had done for all of you know, Amen. That, that what made me excited. Amen. Amen. When you get excited like that, you know, you kind of lose your, you lose your scriptures, you know. So I said, Lord, I said, I need to slow down because I'm not up there for me. I'm up there to try to help somebody get some understanding. And I have to talk to the Lord about that because, you know, you, you don't want to get too far ahead of God that you can't give out to the people that come before God to eat. Right. And we're here as a minister to execute the word of God. We, we're just ministers Amen. of Jesus Christ. Let's get along another hand. Amen. I bought, I bought a couple of prototypes regarding all with me, you know. Because I said, you know, Lord, I say, I had a teacher and he taught me a lot of things. Amen. And Whenever you hear me executing something or saying something up here, this ain't this ain't what I know. This is what I got Amen. from my teacher, Amen. and he taught me, and I believed in it. Uh -huh. See, here here's here's the key to the key thing to this whole thing is believing in what you was taught. Amen. See, you can't even serve God unless you believe. Uh -huh. Let me give you a little example. See, give me that scripture over there where Abraham was sent to offer up Isaac. We'll start right there. That's good a place yeah, to end. Because see, unbelief can't go through no door. Uh -huh. See, when 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 uh when the disciples was in their room, fear of the Jews, uh, persecution from the Jews, they all was similar together in there with the doors closed. Uh -huh. Now Jesus was already crucified. He was already dead. But he was dead, you know, as far as the world concerned, but he was still alive. So he came and appeared under them while the door was yet shut. Mm -hmm. Now how did he get in there? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm just giving you a little some food for thought here, you know? Because see, your mind, you got to believe what you hear. But what you believe got to have proof. Paul said, prove all things by the word of God. So we got to prove it. Let's get a Lord hand clap. Amen. Did you find it? Yeah, these are prototypes right here. These two apples. Because the whole world, just stop thinking about the whole world, all over the world, they've been told this, that Eve and Adam ate an apple. No, 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 no. They didn't, they didn't eat no apple. Come on, man. But they told us that. Yes, you find that scripture for us? Where is that? Genesis 22 and what? I just want the part where when God told Abraham after he offered up his son, got ready to slay his son, told the angel told him that do no harm to the son. And then the scripture go down and say, now that I know it's that thou lovest me. Just want to give you a little, little something to think about. See, because God know everything. It said, before I was formed in the belly, I knew thee. Yeah. Before I was even in yes. his mother's womb, God knew Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. So, you, it ain't no coincidence that you hear. Mm -hmm. 
It ain't no coincidence that you're walking in this life. Because God knew each and every one of us before we even got here. Amen. Go ahead. Isaiah, I mean, uh, Genesis 22 and 10. And Abraham stretched forth his hand. Now, now, now up above there to tell you how Abraham saddled the ass and, and took wood and, and his two servants went with him, took him, taking up uh, his only son, where God had told him to go and offer him up as a sacrifice. Go ahead. Took the knife to slay his son. He took out a knife. Now he had a knife in his hand. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is your little darling here. This is your baby. Mm-hmm. He walking on up here with you. Mm-hmm. You understand? This how this how serious this is. Right. See, God, God already knew who Abraham was, but now Abraham got to get a little more confident too. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's go. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven. Abraham, Abraham. Now this is an angel talking to him out of heaven. Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. Here am I. He said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad. Lay not thy hand upon the lad. Neither do thou anything unto him. Neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know. For now I know. Now, now wait a minute. Now, now you said, It said, Now I know. Or is God saying, now Abraham know. Now God already knew, man. Huh? So who was this for? This was for Abraham, right? Now Abraham was the father of faith too. But see, still in all, God put that there like that for Abraham, but he also put that down there for us too. So we will be able to latch on to some faith somewhere. Don't you know if you got faith, I can't give you faith. Faith can carry me too. I'm talking about faith. Just, just like I said before, unbelief cannot go through no dough. That's right. No. Now I'm not talking about doing no witchcraft or nothing like that. Cause God don't go along with witchcraft either. No. Because that's like Halloween. The last uh, a few days ago, Halloween, that was one of the worst deals America ever could have done. Yes. Yeah. Giving a law, a holiday for for witches and God. Mm-hmm. Let's get a law hand. God ain't going along with that. The sin of rebellion. Uh-huh. That in other words, rebellion to rebellion to God. Uh-huh. You rebelling against God. So they have they teach the kids in school how to do witchcraft. They teach them how to paint their face up and everything yep. for witchcraft. Uh-huh. That's where this nation goes. Right. But it used to be the greatest Christian nation in the world. Right. But it's not like that no more. Right. Not no more. Not no more. This is one of the worst nations in the United right. in the United right. Kingdom. Right. All around the world. Right. And it got to go too, brother. Right. The Bible said Solomon and Gomorrah, the men that was in Solomon and Gomorrah. Just stop and think about this now. When them two men that came over the lot house, when they spoke these two men, which they call them angel too, but they was actually men that was doing work for God. And when they spoke these men that came to Lot House with blindness, the Bible said they weary to find the dough. Mm, Can you see how ate up right, they a right. woman to get to a man? Two these men wanted to get to Lot. Mm-hmm. That's who they to the men that came to Lot. Mm-hmm. They wanted to get to him. Right. Right. They said, let us know him. Bring him out that we may know them. Yeah. That ain't know them like you think you're talking about. Like, <laughs> hey, how you doing, brother so and so? My name is uh, so-and-so. That ain't the kind of knowing they want to do, brother. You better listen to me. Let's get a Lord hand clap. Come on. In this nation, the worst president we had, a lot of people say, well, Obama this, Obama this. Obama messed this thing up so bad that we can't even get out of it. What did he do? He passed that law for gay right. Hey, you say, what, well, Rod, you, you, you think they bad? Yeah, they can be saved. But they got to repent. Uh-huh. They got to stop all of that. Uh-huh. Huh? God ain't putting up with nobody. Yeah. He don't care. Yeah. He don't have to answer to nobody. Yeah. We got all that. Now, what, now when I first left out, the, when I talked to Brother Stevie up there, I was going to talk about the communion. But I got to thinking about this apple. All over the world. They believe that. They be talking about an apple. Uh-huh. What did he eat? She ate an apple. Well, Jesus told them in Matthew, in Mark, there's 
nothing that that from without a man. Let's go read it. Which I, I like to prove all things. I like to show you. See, I'm not in no hurry. I didn't come here in no hurry this morning. Fact being, when I saw all these people, I started turning around and go back. <laughs> kind of put one that kind of kind of surprised me this morning. <laughs> He ain't told me nothing. <laughs> and and then, then another brother told me, say, Brother Stephen, uh, he just said, Brother Stephen, he said, you gonna have you got a surprise or something. I said, and I didn't I didn't pry to him. I said, well, I, being surprised is just, you know, to me was something that uh I wouldn't worry about, but I wasn't thinking about this kind of surprise. No. <laughs> you know what I'm Man, I like to see y'all. Yeah. I like to see y'all. Wait a minute, 
said, there's no way the whole world can be deceived like this. I'm going to show you. Go to Hosea 10 and 12. I'm going to show you exactly what they ate. And then we're going to drop down to Jeremiah. Now, words were found and I did eat them. Now, we actually, what we own right now, we have a communion. See, communion is just communicating. We are communicating about the body of Jesus Christ. This is Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. The Passover, the communion, all this has right in there right now. We're working on it. Come on. Show to yourself in righteousness. Reap your mercy. Break up your follow ground. For it's time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain. Righteousness upon you. Righteousness upon you. He gonna rain it on you. Well, how he gonna rain it on you? He gonna rain it on you through the Spirit realm. The Holy Ghost. He said he'll pour out his waters in buckets. We'll drop that water down, brother. Go ahead. You have plowed wickedness. You have reaped the nickel. You have eaten of the fruit. How can I eat? How can I eat it alive with my mouth? Give me that. Give me that lie. I'm gonna eat that. I can't eat it like that. So how am I eat it? Right here on the side of my head. Give me that one over there in Jeremiah. Thy words are found. I did eat them. And after you give me that, give me the one in Job where it says. Okay, uh, for the ear tried words as the mouth tasted me. Come on. And then we're going to go right back over there to the book of God, Corinthians where Paul said, the communion. For I received of the Lord that same night that Jesus, why Jesus was being betrayed. Paul wasn't there when Jesus was being betrayed. But he said he received of the Lord. Okay, let's come on. I won't get ahead of myself. I told you I get a little excited. Oh, oh Lord, let's get a Lord hand clap. Your body kind of scared me this morning. I said, what's going on? I just left the house. I looking at him. That's him, though. That's him. Brother Stephen hadn't told me nothing. Go ahead, brother. Jeremiah 15 and 16. Stay with me with the Bible. Okay? See, we see the teacher, he, he took out time and forfeited his vacation right and, and, and correlated some blue books. Okay? So we send these blue books out. And I sent a blue book to a guy in Arkansas. And I told him, I say, uh, when you get ready to read that blue book, you get your Bible out. And use that book like a key map. So you'll know what scriptures to go to find out whether or not you saved. Whether or not you've been baptized right. Mm -hmm. See, that's another lie. Yep. That's well. He told him to go in the world and baptize everybody in the name of the Father. And in the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Ghost. He did tell them to get baptized in their name. But he didn't tell you to use the title of their name. Come on. Do you hear what I'm saying? See, uh, Father is not a name. Come on now. Son is not a name. The name is Jesus. Yeah. And it's a family name. Yeah. Your name is Jesus. My name is Jesus. The church name is Jesus. The whole family in heaven and is named after the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Come on. You got it? Yes, man. Did you read it? Go ahead and read it. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. Eat. I did eat them. How you eat them? Go ahead, read them up. Thy word was unto me. Thy word was unto thee. The joy and rejoicing of my heart. The rejoicing, rejoicing of my heart. Eating the word of God. So, but they said they said they are uh, that they ate an apple. Come on. Let me give it. Let me get some more. Now let's go. Hold on. Let's go to Job thirty-four and three. Amen. We're still talking about eat. We're not talking about <laughs> nothing else other than eat. And we are talking about eating, but we don't want people to misunderstand how these people was eating when they was eating that Lord's supper, that last supper. Jesus was right there with them, and he told them. He said, "I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine." Mm -hmm. uh, until I'm new with you in my father's kingdom. Now, if he went
went back and had another one of them sepulchers like Bring that. Bring it down for me. Well, then he was lying. And you know Jesus ain't told no lie. Let's give the Lord a hand. Back. Come on. Okay. Okay. Go. 34 and 3. For the ear, tribe word. For the ear. Listen to it now. It said it.